The next question, Sadaf Tawheed from India, presently living in Sydney, she asks, few years back we made a huge mistake of buying a house on loan which we will have to pay from next year. My heart is changed and I am a different person now. As far as following Islam is concerned, but this was not the case when I took the home loan. Kindly advise what should I do now? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 278 and 279. Ya amanu taqullaha, min al fa wa That, O oh, you who believe, fear Allah and give up your demands on riba if you are believers. For if you do not do so, be prepared that Allah and His Messenger will wage a war against you. Riba, it is a major sin. And according to Imam al Dhahabi, he writes in his book, Al Kaba'ir, that is the major sins, and he mentions Riba and he lists it as the major sin. This is the gravity of the sin of Riba. And the lowest category of Riba is as if you are doing zina with your mother. This is how great and grievous this sin is. We need to abstain from it. Now, as you have asked the question that you had taken this home loan, now your life has changed. I would request you that you take a loan from an Islamic bank and repay this loan. The home loan that you have taken, repay it first and then slowly pay back to the Islamic bank. You should verify that the Islamic bank is on the guidelines of Sharia and it does not have riba. Then slowly you repay to this Islamic bank. So this is the first thing that you can do. The second thing that you can do is, and anyone who's taken a loan from a conventional bank that involves an interest, what he can do is that he can Pay it from the zakat money if the person is poor because one category is the debtors. So this is the solution and after this you should ask for sincere repentance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In fact moment you realize what you have done is wrong you should ask sincere repentance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you should make a resolution that you will not do it again. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah Hud, chapter number 11, verse 114. Hasanat, For good deeds, they take away evil deeds. The more good deeds you do, the more it will eradicate your evil deeds. Try to do as many good deeds as possible. It will eradicate your evil deeds. And... For repentance, there are basically four criteria. The first is that you ask sincere repentance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second is you stop doing that act. The third is that if you can repay it, you repay it. For example, if you've robbed something, you return it to that person. And the fourth category is that you make a strong resolution that you will not do it again. So if you ask sincere repentance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, involved in doing good deeds, righteous deeds, Inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will forgive you.